Hi, get your notebooks ready because in this video I'm going to be explaining four useful words that you'll need to know when you first start out learning algebra. And they are variable, term, expression and equation. So, let's begin. A variable. A variable is just really a letter that represents a number and it's usually an unknown number. The actual number can vary, which is why it's called a variable. Here's an expression, and in that expression we've got this letter N being used to represent a number. We don't know what the value is at this stage, it doesn't even matter, but it represents an unknown number. Right, so a variable could be any letter of the alphabet. However, what you probably will not see much of is the letter L or the letter O being used and that's because they could get confused in some fonts for a, a number one or number zero. So they can be used and sometimes they are but they're avoided where possible. So instead you can use basically any other letter of the alphabet to represent an unknown number. Okay, let's move on. A term. Well, a term is just one part of an expression. You're probably thinking, well, what's an expression? That's coming up in a minute, but to understand what an expression is, you need to know what a term is. Okay, so a term is just simply a part of an expression. For example, it could be just a variable sat there by itself. It could be a number. Or it could be a variable and a number multiplied together. So here are examples of some terms, each of these. Um, I will just probably put a little circle around. This is a term and that's another term in that expression. In the expression t squared plus 10t take away 3, I've got a term there, a term there, and another term there. And in the expression 6 take away z, that's a term, and that's a term. And in b take away 20, those two are terms. Notice how the the sign, the plus or the take away, the added take away, the plus or the minus, is also part of the term. That's going to be really important to remember when we come on to doing simplifying expressions in the coming weeks. Okay, so remember that the sign just to the left of the term, yeah, it's got to be the one to the left. You always set the one to the left of the term, whether it be um, a, multi uh, a number and a, a variable multiplied together, whether it's just a number, whether it's just a variable, it's always the sign to the left that goes with it. Got to remember that for when we do simplifying expressions in a week or two. Okay, we move on to expressions. What are expressions? Well, expressions are just sort of mathematical sentences that are made up from one or more terms. And we've seen a few expressions already so far. So n plus 10, if you take that all together, that is an expression. An expression can contain numbers, it can contain variables, it can contain operators, so for example plus, take away, times, divide, um, potentially squared or cubed or square root, etc. But it doesn't have an equal sign, okay? There is no equal sign. No. No equal sign. So an expression is simply a mathematical sentence which is made up of one or more terms. And you can interpret these expressions into English and that's something we're going to be doing tomorrow. But to give you a heads up, this one here you might read out as, I think of a number t and I divide it by 10. Um, this one here, I think of a number n and I add it onto 6. I think of a number z and I take it away from 6, that kind of thing. Okay, So you can just interpret these 
mathematical sentences into English as well. Finally, we have equations. And equations are just two expressions that have been joined by an equal sign. So expression number one, expression number two, and they have been joined by this equal sign. An equation shows that two expressions are equal. So in this equation, 6 plus n is equal to 8. This side is worth the same as this side. In this equation, t divided by 10 is the same as or is, w is equal to 35. Here, 6 taken over z is equal to 16. Here, b times 20 is equal to 18. Okay? So that's the difference between an equation and an expression. An expression does not have an equal sign, but an equation does. And if you look at the word, there's a big giveaway. Equa, equa, yeah, it comes from, or looks like the word equals. That's a way to tell the difference between an equation and an expression. Okay. A quick comparison then with English. So the cat sat on a mat, that's an English sentence, but if I was just going to pick out the letters in this sentence, then that would be just like picking out the variables in this mathematical sentence. So letters in English are like variables in maths. In this sentence, the cat sat on a mat. Let's look at the terms. A term would be the same as a word. Okay, a whole word would be the same as a term. So this is a term, this is another term, and this is another term. So in English, in an English sentence, the words make up the sentence, and in the mathematical sentence, it's the terms that make it up. Okay, let's look at this one. Simplifying, sorry, simple sentences. Here's a simple sentence, the cat sat on a mat. Here's an expression. An expression is really a full sentence. But not just any kind of sentence. In English this is really just what's known as a simple sentence. And in maths the equivalent would be an expression. Okay, well how does that differ then from an equation? Well in English the way I look at it is that an equation is like a compound sentence which has a connective in the middle. So this is a compound sentence. If this was maths, a mathematical sentence would be or a mathematical equivalent of a compound sentence would be an equation like this where you've got two expressions and our connective is this equal sign. Okay, that's the end of that video. If you pause uh, or rewind and go back over, check your notes, and then fill in the reflection form below. Okay, thanks. Bye.